Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm in my laundry room. This is part of my money pile. Money pile up there. And I'm trying to list, and I just tripped over something. I think that's the donation bag. But anyway, um, I'm trying to list, but I keep thinking of these videos that I need to uh, record. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do them real quick. So I just did one and um, I just kicked my dryer. <laughs> the computer is sitting on my dryer. My light box is right here. It's really a fantastic area to list. But anyhow, um, I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And I picked up a bunch of Cat's Meow, another box full, you guys. <laughs> Um, if you watch my Bolo Buddies channel, you know that I sell a lot of cat's meow and most of them are bread and butter, but I do lock them up sometimes and they can sell for decent money. So anyway, enough about that. Uh, Toledo Antique reached out to me and they shared a big money bolo with me, but there's a fantastic story behind it. And um, I just have to share it with you guys. Number one, I'm gonna teach you a bolo. I'm gonna tell you that you need to check out their selling events because somebody could have had this item. Ah, wait till you guys hear this story. But anyway, it makes me think about the video that I dropped today on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I bought a dibble box for my husband and one of the items in the dibble box is this beautiful vase. And me and my husband, we hate shipping breakables. Well, I should say I do because I ship everything. Um, he will list from time to time, but I do the shipping and I don't like breakables. And he doesn't really like mass produced things, but he is a fan of artist made items. So, um, Go check out the Dibble Box video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. But I wanna show you one of the items that I got in the box. And then we're gonna get into the Toledo Antique, I promise you, wait until you hear this story. But anyhow, this vase was in the box. And my husband, it was one of the items he decided that he wanted to keep. And it does have something etched in here and it's like a C with a circle. So if anybody knows anything about glass, it looks like a C with a circle. And then it says, it looks like M A, I don't know something, but it looks like then it says maybe glass. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to show you guys this, but it has me like curious about this. And I already told my husband he could keep it, but if it was worth thousands of dollars, he would be so happy. But anyway, it's got something etched, but I don't know if the C, doesn't that mean copyright or something when it's a C in a circle? So whoever etched this in, that maybe that means they made more than one of these, but it is really, really pretty. Um, it's kind of got, um, I don't know, you can kind of feel, it's got some texture to it, but it does have that um, etched something on the bottom. I wish I could read it. It's almost like it's in cursive. Something glass. I think that's glass, I could be wrong. But anyway, if anybody knows what this is, maybe I can um, take a picture of it and put it on my community page. But anyway, this has me thinking about, this story has me thinking about this because Donatella has no idea what this is. I have no idea what it is. My husband has no idea what it is, but we just think it's pretty, so we're gonna keep it. And I don't wanna ship it. So, um, all right, let me show you here. Let me get my screen share up. So my Dibble Box is on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If you're not subbed over there, I would greatly appreciate it, but it's right here. I bought a Dibble Box for my husband. Will he like it? Um, it is educational, you guys. He kept some of the items, but I also pop up screenshots of everything that I listed in the box. So um, definitely check that out. This is Donatella Bottolino's channel. She does selling events and YouTube um, auctions, stuff like that. But she does them with T, who you can see in the thumbnail with her a lot. 
and T has YouTube channel auctions for you. So definitely go check them out. Their links will be in the description. Okay, so are you guys ready for the highlight, the main event, the story of this entire video? You guys are not gonna believe this. Ah, I still can't believe it. Okay, so let's watch this clip from the live sale that Toledo Antique had. Okay, are you guys ready? Um, this is somebody else showing, so but we're gonna get into it. So here we go. So this is a unicorn that she's so, selling, which is cool. Well, we'll move on. Oh, All right, you guys. So before I do the item, the next one, I just wanna remind people that by the end, we are auctioning this little cat pointer and all the money will be donated to Mermaid Tonya because her cat is in the hospital oh. and needs some care. So we want to help her. So stick around with us until the end, please. Okay? Because he's cute. He's very cute. <laughs> so my next item, I want to do a claim because he's kind of a big... Ooh, okay. very back. <laughs> so it's a glass bird. Okay, so she said she's going to do a claim. And from what I understand, that's like a buy it now. So wait until you wait until you see this, you guys. It's blonde glass. Uh, I believe it's like a made by a local artist because you guys know Toledo, it's the glass city. It does have a little repair in his uh, paw here. You see the metal part? Mm -hmm. They repair, but he, he stands on the table. So he was standing uh, and he is this nice uh, blue, uh, green and blue colors. And here's his face. And I'm going to do a claim as well at let me measure him for this wow uh he's like a 12 inches and a half tall wow. so um, super cool bird different and i'm going to do a claim at 40 dollars 40 dollars you guys 40 dollar claim are you ready let's keep going and thank you for who is watching on facebook because i just yeah. saw a thumbs up on facebook um, kind of excited <laughs> <laughs> so doing a claim at 40 dollars for this 12 and a half uh bird um looks at his eyes yes he's looking at you he's like all right he did <laughs> uh, and he's different i don't know he's if he's very he, cool i don't know if he's like a borrow that somebody transform in a bird um or somebody really blow i think he's somebody blow the glass and, mm -hmm. and make, yeah, most likely but uh, he's nice different definitely you know mm -hmm. so looking for a 40 dollars claim he's big heavy and he can stand in the table wow so if I don't see any interest, I'm fine at that. But <laughs> I think he is worth it. Yes, yes. he is Look worth at the it. Painting, how they did. You guys, she is so right. He is so worth it. Wait until you see what's coming up. I think that's direct in the glass because it doesn't look like it's painted. Mm -mm. So let me know if you guys are interested ah poor little birdie he just wants a home guys he just wants a home <laughs> um oh that is a rare murano that's what black dog vintage said okay you guys so somebody in the chat tells them that it is a rare murano okay are you guys ready to see what this bird sold for so they put it up for auction um we'll have to look i think they started it at 99 or 900 i i don't know let's look 
they did a little more research. So let's go in to, okay, this is their YouTube channel. So Toledo Anti Antique, if you guys want to go to their selling events, I highly recommend it. They have great stuff that they auction off and that they just do claims on. And as you can see, like there are deals to be made on YouTube auctions. I have scored at Donatella Bottolino's auctions and other people have, but wait until you see what Toledo Antique sells this bird for. And somebody could have got it for $40 claim, okay? So I'm gonna link Toledo Antique down in the description. Please go and give them a sub because they are awesome. And this, they know their stuff. So I am really shocked that they missed this one. So, um, okay. So do I have it? This is their eBay store, Toledo Antique Mall. And you can see here, I think that, um, so they just have really unique stuff. They know what they're looking for. Um, but like I said, even the pros miss things, all right? So here it is, you guys. It sold for $3,300, you guys. Um, apparently it's from the 1960s. It's a art glass bird sculpture. And I don't know, by Alessandro Piano, Pianin? I don't know, you guys know, I can't pronounce things. But anyway, Murano is the glass. And I don't know what this Puccini is, but apparently they did some research, figured out more info on this. So let's, um, let's pull up this uh, bird. And it, she did disclose that one of the legs has been replaced. And she does this with her husband. He's usually in the videos, but he was not in this one. She was doing the auction this day. But here's the bird. No cracks or chips. One of the legs has been replaced. So that has been disclosed. And it still sold for $3,300, you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, let's look at what they started the auction at. I want to say, yeah, $999.99. So after they did their research, they knew that it was a bolo item, but I don't think they anticipated that it was going to go for $3,300. So that is amazing. There were eight unique bidders on this item. And what a super, super score. And I bet they are so, so thankful that nobody claimed this bird for $40 because that is a huge bolo. Um, okay, so I want to take you into, well, you know what? You guys, if you wanna check out their solds, can check out their solds. Uh, but they've got really, really neat stuff. Okay, so let's go over to eBay and we're gonna go into Murano Glass. So as you can see, Murano Glass, I think I'm saying that right, can go for big money. So I'm just under solds and you can see this one had 20 bids and it sold for $4,205. How happy would I be if this was some fancy Murano Glass? I know it's probably not, but if anybody can help me out with that, that would be awesome. So I'm just showing you guys some solds. I am not a glass expert. I don't know anything about glass. I actually shy away from glass, but there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that do talk about glass. Um, so definitely, definitely, if you're questioning something, do your research because it could be a $3,000 item. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful glass pieces. These are all Murano and just amazing, right? Look at these solds. So there are some that are just like sculptures and others that are in the shape of like a vase. So it comes in many shapes. Um, I think I had a clown that I sold once that was Murano, but it was not a big money bolo. Um, again, these items can range from bread and butter to big money. So um, 
you definitely have to uh, do your research. But what a cool, cool story, right? How lucky were they that nobody claimed that bird for $40? Just fantastic. So I went through one page. You guys can research um, by going to eBay Solds and just kind of looking at the different items. Go in, click on the item, look at the pictures. It's a great way to study is by studying um, sold listings. Um, Toledo Antique is super, super knowledgeable. Like I said, I am shocked that they did not know that this was a big money bolo. Um, so I asked for a little more detail. I was like, so where'd you get it? What'd you pay for it? Like, tell me some more about it. And they said that it was a consignment item and that it was in a box that said birds. So my guess is the person that consigned it with them had no idea that it was a high dollar item either and just threw it in a box of birds. Is that amazing or what? Because typically if somebody gives you something to consign and they know it's valuable, they're gonna put a sticker on it that says, this is Murano glass, it is worth a lot of money, make sure that you list it high. You know, and it was just in a box of birds. So anyway, Again, if anybody knows anything about this piece, and like I said, I wish that I could get you guys, oh, there you can kind of see it. I don't know. I really, really am like intrigued and curious about this, but we will be hanging on to this. It's uh, We have one of those cabinets that has glass on the front that my husband has in his office, and that is where this will be for now until... Um, Unless we find out it's worth millions of dollars, we're going to hang on to it because we think it's pretty and it's artist made and um, it's etched into the glass. But again, mm -hmm. I don't know why it has the C in the circle. So uh, if anybody knows anything about this, please let me know in the comments and talk about an amazing Toledo antique story, definitely go and subscribe to their channel, check out their selling events, maybe they'll miss something else and you guys will get in on that big money bolo. Now, if somebody would have bought it for 40, I wonder if they would have ever have found out how much it was worth. Oh, such a cool thing. And the person that gave them the tip in the chat that said that's a rare Murano piece. Why on earth did they not buy it for 40 bucks? I mean, they knew it was rare and big money. I bet they are just like kicking themselves right now. So they were either doing Toledo Antique a favor and not buying it, or they knew it was rare, but they didn't know how valuable it was. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Definitely a bolo. Um, amazing story. And I'm excited that Toledo Antique made that much money. And I'm sure that the person that consigned it with them is super excited also. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.